Okay, so let's start. So good morning, everybody. So the last part of this section is about routing protocols. I want you to understand why why we need what, what do you mean by routing protocol? Okay. Routing protocols are algorithms, as you will see today, is an algorithm, or in other words, is, is a program. Can you please close this door? So routing protocols are like algorithms, or in other words, programs. This program are run by nodes. So as you see in this paper, we have several nodes routers here. We have router U, U, W, Z, and Y, X. Is that okay? And for example, if this router wanna, uh, if this router wanna send data uh, to you, as an example. It can send it directly, or it can send there is another path this way, or maybe there is another path this way. So there may be different routes. There may be different routes. Okay. As I told you before, every router has a routing table. When I receive when I receive a packet or a message, I'm gonna look at the routing table. It's gonna tell me in order to reach this destination, you have to send this way or that way or that way. As I told you before. So actually routing protocols are actually used to create routing tables, right? This is how we can we create routing tables and not only create, but also up, maintain, maintain them, keep them updated. Why we, need to, why we need to keep them updated? Simply because if I have a network like this one, it is possible that one, one router fails. If one router fails, I have to update the tables because you cannot send any, any packets to this router, right? Maybe a new router is gonna be added, okay? So what you should understand here, number one, look at number one, the purpose of the routing protocol is to create routing tables, this is number one, okay? And as I told you before, routing table is gonna tell every, every router, if I wanna reach to a certain destination, how I, how I have to forward the packet. Should I transmit this way or that way or that way, okay? Uh, also, routing protocols uh, are used to maintain or update the tables because maybe one, maybe the network is going to change. In this case, one router fails and we, we may add another router and so on. In this case, we need to keep them updated. More importantly, you should understand these protocols are, are is going to create the tables automatically. So there is no human being that can create the table and manually enter the tables. That's okay. So the, the, and these tables are updated automatically. Okay, all the time. You are going to keep it all, all the time uh, updated and uh, and automatically without any human uh, intervention. Okay, how how can we do that? Very simple. As you will see after I finish this part, you will understand better what I'm saying. But the idea is that every router has to share information with the other routers. And then after, after we receive this information, I should be able to calculate the routing tables. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, for example, if we are a number of routers, I'm a router. I'm gonna tell you, hello guys, my neighbor is A and B and C, okay? And then I'm gonna share this information. Also, everyone is gonna share information. And then after, after you gather all this information, you should run an algorithm, as you will see today. This algorithm should create the routing table. But as you see here, if you have a graph, if you have a graph like this one, okay, I told you here we have a number of routers. This graph, so this is what, what we call routing problem. So routing problem is actually given a set of nodes, if you have some nodes, and you're given some links, you have links. What do you mean by link? Okay, as you see here, we have node 2, we have node 3, we have node 3, we have node 3, we have node 3, we have node Link, link that means I can, you can, can transmit directly to me. You can, can transmit directly to me. You can transmit directly to X. Okay, so the neighbors you are B, W, and X. Neighbor, direct, direct neighbors. Is that okay? Um, 
That's what we mean by link. So what do we mean by the number here? You put some number here on each link. What this means? This means the cost. Okay, the cost. So what do you mean by, by the word cost? Okay, it's up to you how to define this cost. It's up to you how to define this cost, okay? For example, this cost can be the delay. That means if I, if I see the delay, if I produce B, the delay is two. If I send to produce one, the delay is one. Okay, it's some kind of a cost. It's the same idea, for example, when you, when you drive. When you drive, I can take this route, okay? Or I can take this route. And you need, you need to define what do you want to do. You want to you wanna the least distance of driving because to save gas, or you want to you wanna see which, which route is free and it's going to be, the, it's going to take less time. This is, so it's up to you how to define it, okay? Anyway, so there is some number here, we call it a cost. This number is up to you. It can be a delay. It can be it can be several things. It's up to you what whatever you want to do. So it can be distance. It can be a delay. It can be average traffic and so on. It can be security. For example, here I trust I trust this note more than this note. It's it's up to you how to define it. Okay. And now and this is the most important thing. Now to transmit data from one note to another node, maybe I have to different routes. And now I have to select the best route. For example, if I want to go from U to V, I can go this way. If I want to go from U to V, uh, there is another way here. So this is best number one, best number two, or I can go this way, right? The best number three. There, there may be another routes. I can go here this way as well. So there are different routes. Is that okay? And the purpose of this routing protocol is to select the least cost route. Okay, the least cost route. Okay, so there are different routes, but I'm going to select the best route. The best route is actually the least cost. For example, if I go this way, the cost is two. But if I go this way, the cost is going to be five plus three because it's eight. If I go this way, it's going to be two plus one. If I go this way here, it's going to be one plus one plus one plus three. That's it. So there are different paths. Every path has a cost, okay? And then uh, the routing table should contain the least cost. Okay? So again, we know, we need to agree. Again, what is the routing problem here? What this? I told you the routing algorithm is a is algorithm, right? This algorithm. What is any algorithm? Any algorithm in any for anything? It has input and it has output, right? Uh, and then. The input here for this algorithm is actually this figure here. How many nodes, what is the cost of these nodes, and so on. And the output is actually the routing table. The routing table should tell the, the least cost path for each for, from uh, for, for each node. Okay. So remember, any node here can be source or destination. For for example, this one can send here, or this one can any, any node can be source or destination here. Okay. Uh, here the cost, the cost of each each link, we call it C. When I say C, C, w, C between W and Z equal to five. What is what this means? It means the cost from W to Z is equal to five, the cost. When I tell you about the cost of a path or the cost of a route, for example, if I have a route this way, this way what is the cost of this route? It's gonna be actually two plus three. It's gonna be the, the submission to the individual cost. Yep. Any questions? Okay, so for the routing protocols here, we have we are going to teach three types of routing protocols. Uh, the first one is called link state. The second one is called distance vector. The third one is called hier 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 hierarchical routing. So th these are the three types of routing protocols I'm going to explain. You will, by when I finish this part, you will understand how how the work, how each one is, is can calculate. All of them are doing the same thing. All of them should calculate the routing table, okay? But by different ways, also we're gonna make a comparison between these two uh, to see what is the difference between them. But again, I, I want you to understand that this is exactly what happens in, in, in routing, dynamic routing protocols. Number one, the routers here should dynamically share information about routers. Okay, number two, automatically update the routing tables. Okay, and then routing tables to determine the best, the best, the best path or the best route. Is that okay? So again, if there is a failure here after after, it's not only 
it's not only one time just to create the routing table and then I'm happy, goodbye, it's done. No, it's not this way. Why? Because as I told you, it may happen that when one when, when router is going to fail, so we need to update the routing tables. It may happen that we're going to connect a new, a new router. So that means automatically, without any human intervention, once you connect it, okay, it happens uh, because they share information. Once anything change, okay, so I'm gonna tell and I'm gonna tell the other people, hello guys, uh, I, there is a new, we have a new, new, new router here, okay, or this cost was five and now the cost is seven. Okay, I need to share this information with others so that everybody can update the routing teams. Okay, any questions? Look, I'm gonna start with the first one. We call it link state rank routing teams. Okay. Uh, so here, this is a very famous uh, algorithm. This is uh, named by uh, someone, I think from Germany or something like that, uh, who invented this algorithm. His name is Dijkstra. Dijkstra, okay. This is the name of this algorithm. I'm gonna explain to you how, how this algorithm works, okay? If you, if you, I'm quite sure if you read the slides, it's gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be difficult. It's not gonna be easy for you at least to understand it, but I'm gonna to try to go slowly. It's not difficult, believe me, it's not difficult, but once you understand how it works, it's gonna be very easy, okay? So let's let's see how, how it works. Number one, in this problem, I wanna create the routing table for the source U, okay? So in this example, um, I want to create the routing table for you. That means I want to calculate if from you in order to reach to every to every point here, what is what is the total cost and what is the next hub? Okay, that's the routing table for you. You can repeat this example for any other node, but in all this example, I want to create the routing table for you. Okay, so this is the algorithm here. The algorithm has actually one part here for initialization. And then has one part here you are going to loop. Okay. So let's start with the initialization part, how, how you are going to do it. Okay. So this is here, I'm going to do the initialization. That's what we call it step number zero. Okay. In this initialization, uh, I have given, given the neighbors of you, only the direct, this, all the information I have, given only one information, the neighbor of you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put, put put it here. Okay. So that means I already know you has a neighbor here, it has another neighbor here, it has another neighbor here. Okay, that's all what I have. You can see here for every node, I every column is for one node. So this this is for node V, this is for node W, for node X, for node Y, for node Z. Right? For sure, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put you because I'm creating this table for you. Is that okay? Okay, so every column here is gonna represent one node we have right now. Okay, so now you can see uh, here in every column, I'm gonna put two things as you see here. The first here, the um, I'm gonna look at the neighbors. I told you, so for example, this is V. Okay, let's do, let's do V first. Again, I told you here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the direct neighbors of, of you. Okay, so let's start with, with V. Okay, the cost, we have a direct link between U and V. Is that right? Yes, we have. And the cost is two. And that's why you can see here the cost is two. What 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 is what is this one here? The, this one is actually what we call pre predecessor. So here this one here means predecessor node. Predecessor node. That means the node before the destination. That means I can I can reach to V, okay, and the cost is two, and the predecessor is U. The previous node is you, predecessor is you. Make sense? So now I, I'm gonna do this for all the neighbors of you. So now, for, for example, for W, for W, we have W here, is that right? The cost, we have a cost here of five, the cost of five, and the predecessor is you. Predecessor, the previous node is, is, the previous before the destination is you, okay? This all, all possible destinations we have, all possible destinations for you. Is that okay? Now let's look at X here, the ne direct neighbors. X, the cost is one. The predecessor is you. Is that okay? Okay. Now look at Y. Look at Y. Is Y, is y a direct neighbor? No. Because it is not direct neighbor, I'm going to assume there is a link here and the cost of this link is infinity. You got what I'm saying? Because U is not a direct neighbor. 
any, if it's not the direct labor, I'm going to say, and I can say it's infinite. That's why you can see here for y is z, then of course it's going to be infinite. Infinite means there is, I can't, I can't reach it, but I have to put some number here because I'm going to have this number slave. That's why I put very big number so that if I can, if I can find any filter of course, I'm going to have this one. Okay. So anyway, so what I'm saying, guys, is given one information. The neighbors of you, this is the result what I have. The, this one is telling me I can reach to B and the cost is two, all right? I can reach to W and the cost is five. I can reach to X, the cost is one. I can reach to one and the cost is infinity, which means I can't reach it. I can reach to Z and the cost is infinity, given only this information. Is that okay? Now, yes. Yeah, this is a very good question. Again, now I'm, I'm processing only one information, the neighbor of the neighbor of you, right? After that, after that, I'm gonna consider the neighbor of X, the neighbor of B, the neighbor of W, the neighbor of Y, and neighbor of Z, and then I'm gonna complete this one. One, one information by one, one by one. So now given only one information, the neighbors of Y, this is the best, this is what I have. Now I'm gonna process. Um, I, okay, so now here I choose only one loop, the neighbor of you, right? Now I'm going to look at x to b and then update this one. Okay. Anyone? Any questions? So this is the initial value, initial one. So the in, initial here, I'm going to put the direct neighbor of, of you, as you see here, okay? And then after that, uh, uh, after that, uh, uh, here, uh, I'm, get, I'm gonna see what is the least to cost here. Again, look here, guys. The idea is that I have to check the neighbors of all nodes. I started with only neighbors of you. Is that okay? Then I'm gonna jump to everyone, right? And everyone I check, I'm gonna add here to the list. This is the list. This list, I, I only put you because I only, only check the neighbors of you. Is that okay? So now I need to select another one. I need to select another node. So which node I have to select here? You have to select the one that has the least cost. Here the cost is one. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna start with this one. Is that okay? So now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna check the neighbors of X. Okay. So now I'm gonna add X to here. So in this list, so this this is actually the list that has all the nodes I have for me to check the neighbors. You is done, right? Now I'm gonna move to the next node. But which should I have to select? Should I select the view or W, X, Y, or Z to check the neighbors? Okay. The answer is you have to select the one that has the least. So I'm gonna select this one, smooth X. So now I can add the X here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna now check the neighbor of X and see and, and see what is if, if if I can get a different cost or not. Okay, you will see right now. So now I decided because this one has the least cost. So I'm gonna add X here, and then I'm gonna update. The, I'm gonna I'm gonna update the information I have right now by by I'm gonna process another information, which is the neighbors of X. Is that okay? So now, who are the neighbors of X? X has V neighbor, right? It has W neighbor. It has Y neighbor. It has U neighbor. But I'm not gonna check you because already you in the list here. So number one, you have to select the mode that has the list code and the root that's not in the list here because since it's in the list of the roots, I have to really investigate. Is that okay? So that means now I'm gonna check the uh, I'm gonna check the neighbors uh, neighbors of X, okay? That is not here. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna investigate you, but I'm gonna check you. I'm gonna check W, I'm gonna check Y, because these are the neighbors of X. And then, and then more importantly, now I'm gonna check. If I send, if I if I reach any other point through X, what is the cost? And if this cost is better than what I have or not, because I already I have some cost here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna now check. I'm gonna process the second information, which is the neighbors of X. I'm gonna see if I can if I can have a better cost or not. If I have a better cost, I'm gonna update it. If you don't have, so I'm gonna keep the old one I have. Okay, how can you do that? I'm gonna tell you how. So the idea is that. I'm going to look at the neighbors of X, which is V, 
W Y. Okay. And then for each one, of, for example, let's start with, with V, for example. Okay, let's start with, with node V. Okay. Node V, uh, I already, and now I have to decide, should I update this number I already have, or this is the best? Okay. So all what I'm going to do here, as you see here, I already have two. So already from the previous record, I already have two. Okay. If I can reach, if I can reach V through, through X, so it has to be this way, what is the cost? One plus two, one plus two. It's going to be three. Okay. So now this is. I already have the option of two, but if I select, if I go through x, the cost is going to be one, one because that's one between you and x, and then one, one plus two, and then for, when I go for that, it's going to be one plus three. If I go to y through x, it's going to be one plus one, and then I'm going to check this new information with what I have. Then I'm going to select what I have. I need this one. So now I already have two, and then if I go through X, the cost is gonna be three. No, but this one is worse. So I'm not gonna update this record. I'm gonna keep it because what I have here is better than what I can get if I go through X. Okay. Now I'm done with V. Let's go to W again. Let's go to W. Already, what so what what do you have here for W? I already have five. So I this is that's what I have. So I can go to W, I can go to W through di directly through U, and the cost is five. Okay. But if I go through X, the cost is gonna be one plus three plus one, one, one plus three, which is four. For sure, this one is better. Four is less than five. So in this case, I'm gonna update this record. So instead of five, I'm gonna make the cost now it can be four, but the previous is on the X. So if you go through X. You are going to the cost is four, but if you go directly, the cost is five. So I'm going to update this. So, the, so now we're getting the good information I have the neighbor of you, the neighbor of x, that's the best, that this is the best result I can Okay. After you finish it checking all the neighbors of all nodes, now you have the you have you have the best result to suit you. Okay. So let's see another one, another neighbor. Y. Neighbor Y. Okay. It has a neighbor y. For neighbor y, I can reach to y by infinity, assuming I have a direct link here you, by infinity, right? But x is going to give me a better result because if I can go through x, the result is going to be 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1, which is 2. So now I have to select between what I have already, and between the new, the new bed, the new is going to be 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2, 2 is good. So in this case, this case, I'm gonna take this. Okay. So given given the two information, the best result I have right now, given after after I checking only two nodes, I didn't I didn't finish yet. I only checked the neighbors of two nodes. After I finished two nodes, the best result I have right now, if I can, if I wanna go to V, you have to go directly, and the cost is two. If I wanna go to W, it has to go through X, and the cost is four. So I'm gonna select the last one. Because this is the best one. Okay. Uh, if you want to go to Y, so it's gonna be through X and the cost is two. If you want to go through Z, that is still in finish. The cost is in finish. Okay. Uh now uh, what should I do? I'm gonna repeat what I said. Okay, what I said now, I need to add one note here, one more note here, because I need to investigate one one more note. Okay, which note you have to select here? I have to select the note that is not here. I have the least cost here. For sure, you can see we have two, we have four, we have two. So yes, that means I can select Y and add it to the list and update, update, update this table based on the neighbors of Y. Or you can select V, any one of them, because both of them have the same cost, two and two. Is that okay? For some reason, I selected Y. You can select V. It doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to se select Y. I'm going to add Y here to the list. And then I'm going to see uh, after I after I check the neighbors of Y, how can I, how I can improve this one? And that's exactly what I did. So here I added Y here to the list. And then I'm going to look at the neighbors of Y that is not here, that's not in the list here. Let's Who are the neighbors of Y? Y has W neighbor. Z, Z neighbor, X neighbor. 
but I'm not gonna study X because X is already here. Already I finished X. So I'm gonna only investigate W and Z. Is that okay? So W and Z. The last information I have for W is four. The last information I have to Z for infinity. I'm gonna, I wanna see now if I check, uh, if I check the neighbors of Y. Okay, if I go, if I go to W through Y. Can I have a bigger result than what I have right now or not? If I go to Z, through Y, can I have a bigger result than what I have right now or not? Right? So let's start with the first one here. DW. DW means the distance to W. The distance to W, what I have right now is four. Okay? So the cost, the cost to W, it is four if you go through X. That's what that's, that's what I have right now. Okay. But if you go through y, you already have one and y here, one and one here, okay? So I have two plus two, uh, sorry, plus plus one here, two and plus one. So it's gonna be two plus one, okay? So for sure, if I go through y, the cost will be three, but if, orig if, you, if originally it was four, so now I'm gonna update this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna update it because I found the better, better base, okay? Now let's look at z, <clears throat> for z. I already have infinity, right? That's why you can see here, I have infinity here. But if I go through Y, the cost will be one plus one plus four, which is, sorry, plus two, which is four. Okay, which is four. So I'm, so four is less than infinity. So I'm gonna update this one. So, so after processing the neighbors of U and the X and Y, okay? This is the best, best, best result I can have, okay? If you wanna go to D, so the good is two, and if you have to go, uh, the big so is you. If you wanna go to W, the best result I have to do so far is three, and the big so is one. If you wanna go to X, the, uh, the big so is, is one, okay? Uh, so the uh, big so is two, the two is one. Same thing for what? Same thing for Z, okay? Anything added to the table, so I'm not gonna, why Why you don't put anything here? Because it's already finished, because I added to the table. It's not gonna, once you add something in the table, that means you are not gonna get better, better result for X. You are not gonna get better result for Y, because I already added it to the table, okay? So now I have to, I have to keep going. I have to repeat what I did until I, I finish, I add all the notes here, okay? Still, I have you that X and Y, so still, 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 what is the missing here? We have V is missing. I, did, I didn't check the neighbors of V yet, and W is missing. Also, Z is missing. So we have three, three, three nodes are missing here. Is that okay? Uh, I, that means I, I, I checked the neighbors of U and W and Y, but I did not check the neighbors of U, V, and W, Z. Maybe they are going to be better results than what I have. That's why. I'm gonna finish, I'm, I'm done until I finish the all, uh, uh, when I, I finish uh, checking the neighbors of all nodes. In other words, when you, when, when you add all nodes here, any node I, any node I investigate its neighbor, I add it here to the list, okay? So anyway, again, how, what, okay, so which one I have to select? So now I have the option of V, I have the option of W, I have the option of Z. These, these are the three I didn't check yet. Which one I have to select? As I told you, I have to select the one that has the least cost. The least cost here is V. So I'm gonna select V, okay? So I'm gonna select V, I'm gonna add V now, and then I'm gonna check the neighbors of V that is not in the list, okay? And that's what I did here, okay? So now I, I uh, V, who are the neighbors of V? V has U, but I'm not gonna check it because it's already in the list here. You already finished it. X, I'm not gonna investigate X because it's already in the list, okay? So the only one I have now is only W, okay? So I'm gonna see if, if V is gonna give me a better best, best to W, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna compare here. I already have three. This is the old information, I, uh, or this, this is the best I was able to get so far. I wanna check if V can give me better result or not. Let's see. So if I go to W through V, the cost will be two plus three, which is five. Two plus three, which is five. Okay. For sure, this is not this is not better. That's why I'm not gonna update this one. I'm gonna keep this one because it's not better. 
So now V is done. So what is left now? Okay. So what is left is actually uh, Y, Y and Y and Z. No, sorry. Y is already here, right? So only W. I'm sorry. So only what, what is left here? I need to check the neighbors of W and Z. W and Z. Okay. So this is W and this is Z. Okay. Again, which one I have to start with? I have to start with the smallest one, smallest cost, which is W. So now I'm going to add W here. I'm going to check the neighbors of W. Okay. Yeah. So I'm here. I'm going to add W. And now I'm going to check. Uh, okay. W. Let's, let's go to the W here. Who are the neighbors of W? V, but V already in the list, so I'm not going to check it because it's, I finished it already. Uh, w, it's already in the list. I'm not going to investigate it, okay? Why it's already in the list. I'm not going to investigate it. The only one it's left is only Z, okay? Neighbor, neighbor of w, uh, w is Z, okay? So now I'm going to see, I already hear, uh, uh, I already have here four. This is uh, what I have right now is four. I want to see if W, I already have here four. I just want to see if W can give me better result. Uh, if I go through here, W, I already have this space to W. So to W, to W, the best is three. So I already have three. To go to W, it's already three. Plus five, I, want, I just want to check if W is going to give me better result. But from you to W, it's really three, okay? Plus five, can it be eight, okay? Is it better than what I have? No, so I already have four. So I'm not gonna update this one. I'm gonna keep it, okay? So now I have almost everything except Z, okay? If I come to Z, actually I don't need to do anything. Why? Because Z has two neighbors, W and Y, okay? But the two neighbors are already here. So I don't need to do anything, so I am done. I'm done. That means I invest, that means I checked the neighbors of all nodes, okay? That means based on the results I have right now, the best cost, if you wanna go to, if you wanna go to V, this is the best result. This is the best result for this one. This is the best result, this is the best result. This is the best result you have right now. Is that okay? The last thing I wanna do here is, Given this table, given this, this table has already enough information to create the routing table, okay? The routing table should look like something like that, as you know before, okay? The routing table should, for not you, it should, it should have something like that. If your destination is V, so you have, the next hub has to be V, so you have to send it to V, okay? And the cost will be two. If your destination is X, so okay, you have to send it directly to X, the next hub here, this is next stop, and this is the cost. Is that, is that okay? If you want to go to W, you have to send to X, and the total cost W here is going to be three. Okay. So the question is that how I can create this routing table from from this table here? Okay. It's already there. All the information are there, but I just want to change the format. Okay. So let's let's see how can we do it. Okay. Let's start with, for example, with with V. Okay. For for V, this is the best to cost. Okay. It's going to be direct. Direct because the predecessor is U. Okay, so that means here for B from this table. Okay, for V, the uh, it has to be next stop. It has to be V, right? And the cost is two. This is given to me from here, from this one here. Yeah. Now let's let's look at another one. For example, let's look at W, okay? For W, this is the best one I was able to get, okay? That means to go to W, the cost is three. To go to W, the, tot the cost is three, okay? But the predecessor is Y. The predecessor is Y. But to go to Y, because Y is not my neighbor, but to go to Y, you have to go to X. So that means you have to send to X. And that's exactly what I did here. You have to send to X. Okay. Again, here, this, this, what this one is telling you? This one is telling me, if you want to go to, if you want to go to that you, the total cost is three. That's, that's okay. And the previous system, the previous move to that you is one. Right? But why is that my name? Okay, but you already have the shortest step to one. The shortest step to one is six. Right? So I have to send to X, 
and then x through x you are going to like you have to uh, w has to go to y because this is the principle of w but to go to y you, it has to go to x and x and x and to go to x x is my neighbor okay to go to x is going to be anyway that's a bit confusing but it's not hard believe me okay that's it so once once i create this table i have the routing table here any questions let's have another example in the assignment you have you have one one example like this one similar to this example i ask you to create the routing table using the same way as i did here so let's let's see another example here okay i have a different i have a different network here, here as we see okay I want to create the routing table for I want to create the routing table for you for node you. So number one, as I told you, initialization. This is the initialization here. In the initialization, I'm gonna look, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check the neighbors of you. Okay. So you, you, you has X here neighbor, it has W neighbor, it has V neighbor. So it has three neighbors. Is that okay? And so for V. For V here, the cost is seven. So this cost here is seven because the cost is seven. For W, the cost is three. This, okay, so I here I'm, I'm processing only one information. All what I know, only the neighbors of, of, of U, right? So, and then if you wanna go to X, the cost will be five, okay? If I wanna go to Y, it's gonna be infinity, okay? Infinity, infinity that means it's there is no direct, and, Direct link, or you can you can think there is a link, but the cost of this link is infinity, right? Which means there is no link for sure. Okay, because I'm not gonna be the cost of infinity. Uh, anyway, uh, just we put here infinity so that I can compare, I can compare this number to another number so that I can I can proceed. That's it. Okay, but anyway, but infinity means you can't you can't actually reach it. So given the information I have right now, I can't reach to y. But I'm gonna represent it using infinity. Same thing for Z. I can't reach it. Okay. So now uh, this is after I investigated the information, one only one information, the neighbor of you. Okay. Now I'm gonna I wanna investigate, I wanna investigate uh, uh, uh next node. So because I'm gonna I, I will be done when I investigate the neighbors of all nodes. So I'm done with you. So now I'm gonna select another one. Which one you have to select? As I told you, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what is the least cost here, and then I'm gonna start with this one. The least cost seven or three or five or infinity and infinity. No, it is three. So that's why I'm gonna select node W. So that's why I'm gonna put here W. Okay, and then I'm gonna look at the neighbors of W. Look at the neighbors of W. W. Who are the neighbors of W? It has V, it has Y, it has X, it has U. But I'm not gonna check you because you already in the list. But I'm gonna check the other ones here. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna calculate the cost, the cost to x, y, v through w, and compare this cost to what I have right now, and select the smallest one. Okay, so that's why, as you see here, I'm gonna cal calculate the cost to v and x and y through w, through w. Okay, as you see here. Through, if you go through W, now I already have three. Three plus, plus something. Three plus four, three plus eight, three plus three. That's what I did here. It has to be three plus something. Because to go to W, three plus the new cost from W to its neighbors. Okay? And then I'm going to compare this number to what I already have. So, for example, if I want to go to V, what I have right now is seven. Right? But I found a better path, which is three plus three, which is six. So that's why I'm going to change this one from seven. I'm going to change it to six. So if I want to go directly, I'm going to be seven. But if I go through W, I'm going to be six. Okay. So this one is better. So I'm going to update this one. Okay. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's check X. Okay. So X here, I'm going to be seven, but I already have better five. So I'm not going to update it. I already have five. I can go to X. Look here. I can go to X directly using five. Or I can go this way and then this way, but I'm going to be seven. So I can go to X by two different ways. I can go five, or I can go this way and this way and this seven. No, what I have is better. So I'm not going to update it. What I have is better. So five is better than seven. So I'm not going to update this one. Is that okay? Let's look at Y. 
when I go to y, I already have infinity here for y. But but now I have three plus eight, which is eleven. Yeah, eleven is better than infinity. So I'm gonna update this one from here to here. So now, given two information, two pieces of informations, information, the neighbor, uh, I I checked the neighbor of u, a neighbor of w. This is the best result I was able to get so far. These are the best result. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I have to change. I have to check when the neighbors of one more node. Okay. So I I'm done already. W is done. That's why I'm W is not going to continue because you are not going to get something better than what you have right now because W is already added to the list here. Anyone added to the list, so it's done, right? So W is done. So now I have I need to check the neighbors of V, the neighbor of X, the neighbor of Y, the neighbor of Z, right? These are not these are not in the it's not here in the list yet. Okay. So which one I have to start with? You have to start. So this one. Uh, this one is 6, 5, 11, infinity. Which one? Here, I'm going to select the smallest one, which is 5. So I'm going to select X. So I'm going to add X here to the list. I'm going to repeat, repeat again. I'm going to ask myself, who are the neighbors of X? Ne uh, neighbors of X are going to be U, but I'm not going to check it because it's already, I finished it. It's already in the list. It's a neighbor of W, but also I'm not going to check this one because it's already in the list. So all what I have right now, I have Y and Z. Okay, so all what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna calculate the distance. If I trans, if I if I reach, if I reach to y or z through x, what is the cost? And this better than what I have or not? That's what that's exactly what I did here. So here I calculated. I already have. If you see what is the cost here, you can see I already have five here. I already have five. Okay, so five plus seven and five plus nine. Five plus seven and five plus nine. So if I go to y. Through x, this is the cost five plus seven. If I go to z through x, this is the cost five plus nine, right? Compare compare to what you have. Okay, so what I have here right now is eleven. I have this one is already eleven, and we have uh, we have here a eleven and in, uh, sorry here eleven and infinity, right? So for sure is eleven eleven. So I already I already can reach using eleven. Now I have another option, which is worse, because this option is five plus seven, which is twelve, is worse. So I'm not gonna update. I'm not gonna update this one. I'm gonna keep it right. But let's look at the second one. Second one, the option I have right now is infinity. But I I found fourteen. No, fourteen is better. So I'm gonna update this one. I'm gonna say so you can if you wanna go to if you wanna go to z, you can go to z through x, and the cost is fourteen. Is that okay? So again, I have to keep going. I have to keep doing it until. Uh, so now, uh, now I already finished U, W, X. So what is left? What is left is actually V. V, I, v is not in the list yet. Y and Y and Z. These are the three are the left one. Which one I have to start with? You have to start with the list cost, with, which is V. You have to start with V, right? I'm gonna keep repeating it until until it. Any questions? Is that difficult? <laughs> no, it's not. Why what should we send it? Yes. No, here I run the algorithm for not you. Every node has to do the same thing <clears throat> to calculate its own table. Okay, so here uh, in node not you is gonna calculate its own table. Node W. Okay, it has to calculate its own table. Okay, here in this example, I start with you, but but everyone else has to do the same thing. You got what I'm saying? Any questions? Okay. So actually, here how practically, practically, how can we run this algorithm? Okay, what happens is that every 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 router has to share information. And once you share information, you will, you are gonna have a graph like this one, and then you can solve this graph for your for for yourself. So node U has to solve the graph for itself for its table. Node W has to solve it for its table, and so on. You got what I'm saying? So this is actually how how we run it. Number one, routers is gonna exchange hello hello packets to discover the direct neighbors. Routers have to create what we call link state packet, link state packet. 
this packet should have should have information about information about di their direct neighbor and the cost the cost and then share this information. For example, I give you an example here. Node A, node A is gonna, node A has three neighbors. Neighbor B, neighbor F, neighbor E. As we see, B, F, E, right? The cost, the cost is one, three, and two. One, three, and two. So it's gonna put all this information in one in one packet and send it to everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody, hello, I am not A, I have neighbor B, I have neighbor F, I have neighbor E. The cost of B is one, the cost of F is three, the cost of E is two, right? And B is connected to network for G, E F is connected to 78, E is connected to uh, network 23. Okay. So again, every router has to collect information about the neighbors, the code, share this information with everybody. Right. Once I receive all this, all the information from all, from all, all routers, now I can create this one and I can start running the algorithm. Right. So that's exactly what I did here. So as you see here, once I receive information from A, from B, from C, from G, from E, from F, now I have the complete graph, and then I can run the extra algorithm, and then this is the name of the inventor for for inventor who created this algorithm. Then you can once you use that you can create the routing table. Okay. Once the routing table is created, okay. Uh, if there is any change, I need to I do need to send a new messages so that you can update the tables. For example, because that's exactly what happens. Routers usually from time to time they exchange hello. So this router is gonna, for example, if 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 my neighbor V, I am U, and my neighbor is V. And V, from time to time, I, I have to say to V, hello, V, are you still alive, V? Just to make sure it's alive. Because maybe this 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 router uh, fails. Maybe there is no power. Maybe it's off. What I'm saying. So from time to time, I have to share hello message. I, I have to make sure it's still it's still working, right? If if I found one 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 of them failing, so I have to inform the other the other routers about about this to update the tables. Not only that, uh, also uh, if if there is a change in the cost. If the cost is changed, the cost can be the delay, for example, if the delay in, or the traffic, how much traffic I have, something like that. Also, if there's a change, if there's a change in the cost, I have to send this information to the other routers so that the other routers can use it to update this, this table. Again, once once the table is created, uh, you don't need to update it until there is an event. This event can be a change in the structure or it, cha it change in the neighbors. One neighbor died. One neighbor is not is not working. Or a new neighbor added. You added a new neighbor. It change in the neighbors. Or it change in the cost. Right. Once I find this change, I have to send. I have to send message to the. Okay. Any questions? Any question here? Okay. So next time I'm gonna explain the next one here, distance vector routing. Okay, it's doing exactly the same thing, but in it, it's much much simpler than this one, but it's gonna be somehow different approach, different ways. It's, both of them are used. Okay, uh, every one of them has some adv advantages and disadvantages. Both of them are used, as I told you, uh, but just just two different ap approaches. Any questions here? You have a question in the assignment. Uh, I think I give you. I give you one one network like this one. I'm asking you to create create the uh, create create the table here. Okay. I'm sure if you check online, you will find some websites. I think for I'm sure you can find in the website you can just enter uh, enter the network. Okay, enter the data of the network, and then it can calculate it for you. Uh, I'm sure also Python or any any programming language. I'm sure they should have some li li libraries. Or for for because these these algorithms are very famous ones, uh, this one here, the uh, uh, the the and the other one here we have Bill Bill Manford. Bill Manford also is a very famous one, but this is for distance vector. Okay, okay, that's enough for today. Um,